Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be going through my everyday makeup basket for June of 2020. It, this, uh, I mean, we all know that in 2020 time doesn't really mean anything, right? <laughs> Weeks and days and months have just felt weird, and it's, it's strange. <laughs> very strange, but I'm very excited to switch out these products. I got a lot of use out of these. And I'm actually pretty excited about what I'm going to pick out next. So first, let's go ahead and pull out everything I'm not going to be using anymore. And then we will shop my stash and find a whole new basket's worth of products. Okay, so quick up here, I've got my three setting sprays. The other ones that I had, I already finished and they're in my empties drawer. I pulled out the Milani Make It Last Matte. I've got the Cover Effects Illuminating. And then I've got the Smashbox Primer Water, which I think I'll finish this month, probably. These are both lotions. This actually is not the Sol de Janeiro. I just keep the container because I like it and it fits like right here. I actually, this is what's left of the actual lotion container that I had here. I'll talk about it in my next empties video, but I've got this much left and then whatever I filled up this one with. So I just like keeping it here so I can use it up fully. And then I brought out this um, little cuticle oil just so I remember to actually use it at least once a day. As for over here, I have to say I didn't really use eyeliner or lip liner this month. Hmm. I am definitely going to be decluttering this, if I can pull it out, which I cannot. Shit, it's so hot and my hands are so sweaty. <sighs> Son of a bitch, okay. Okay, well, it's gone now. I literally had to like dump out this whole container to get that Jeffree Star lipstick out and then it fell to the floor so we're gonna leave it there. I'm gonna declutter it. <laughs> that was the main point of this. I've got this um, sample size of the Agave lip mask that I'm using as my current chapstick. We're gonna pull these two glosses out. The one from Dior and the Butter, the butter Gloss from NYX. We'll pull something else out for lips. I believe we've hit the mark for My Last Princess as much as I love it. But thankfully, we'll see once we go over to the... Um, makeup collection side of things. I went through and I found the box where I kept all of my sample sizes, like for traveling. <laughs> traveling, right? And I found two sample sizes of mascaras. So thankfully I've got mascara to last me for a little bit longer because that was my last mascara. We're gonna leave the lip balm. We're gonna leave the NYX glitter glue that I love. My NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. We're going to leave this eyebrow gel in here too, the ABH one, just so I can get some more use out of it. And we're going to pull both of these. This is the NYX Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese. And then the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Because I really didn't use them. And these I'm going to leave up here because I do need to get some use out of them. These are the two lip liners I got in my last Try Beauty box. And then this is a Marc Jacobs liner. I'm going to try and really, we'll throw it up here so I actually like remember to use it. So that's the first top area. Let's jump into the first drawer. Okay, so I've been good with keeping up with this drawer. I've used up a couple other foundations. I did bring in this Misha BB cream. I think I'm just gonna finish that up once I finish these two up. I've got the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation and the AOA Studio uh, Buildable Satin Foundation. I'm gonna leave those there. Uh, you know, I do need a matte primer. Yeah, we're gonna leave the elf matte, the matte primer there and we're gonna pull out this moisturizing primer from Shop Miss A because I need, I need matte. This is my only loose powder that I currently have left, the Cody Airspun, so that's gonna stay. This face powder, I'm gonna switch out and use a different face powder. So we're gonna pull this face powder out. I think I'm gonna leave these two concealers. Well, actually, it's getting sweaty out. Let me pull out the ColourPop one because the ColourPop, I still have a lot of product left. And I'm trying to finish up this Conceal and Hydrate. So I think I can finish that one up. We will keep the um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm this is my eye primer. And this, I actually, I tried using this NARS eye primer and I think it went bad. <laughs> it, uh, it's chunky and it smells a bit off. So I think this went bad and unfortunately I'm going to have to just get rid of it. All right, so that's everything for the first drawer. Let's go to the second one. So I think we're gonna pull out quite a lot from here. Uh, I'm gonna pull out this highlight and contour palette from Profusion because I wanna bring in some other products, but I did hit pan. Look at that, in the bronzer. I almost hit pan in the contour, but I'm proud of myself for actually getting this much use out of this product. I feel happy. We are going to leave this collab palette because it is part of my HP Project Pan along with my Maybelline color tattoo because that's just what I've been using in my brows. Uh, the Fenty highlighter is actually also part of that project pan, so we are going to leave that there. 
Let me see, these are part of the project pan. These two loose shadows from Geek Chic Cosmetics. And I think the rest can go back into my collection. Yes, let's do that. These two single shadows, one ColourPop, one Geek Chic. This loose highlighter, because I really want to focus on the Fenty highlighter instead. This under eye powder from Pat McGrath Labs. I'm going to pull in some other powders to use instead. The California blush. I want to pull a blush palette in. <laughs> My only blush palette, so we're going to do that instead. And also bring, um, putting back the um, Sailor Moon and ColourPop blush. And then the Shop Miss A blush. So we really cleaned out that drawer. Okay, so this next drawer, this is part of my project pan, so this is going to stay. I tested out this palette from Suva Beauty. It was uh, part of my last Tri Beauty box, and I have to say, unfortunately, I'm not a fan. It, the formula, I mean, the colors are gorgeous, but the formulas just weren't what I was looking for. So I'm going to put this back into my collection. We'll talk about it more in depth when I do my next Tri Beauty box video. On the other side of things, I love these palettes. These two from, um... Lunatic Cosmetics Labs, and I will do a full video on them. I did do a full live stream as uh, with my first impression. If you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I know I've already got videos scheduled for the next few weeks, so I'm not going to be able to get to this video soon, even though I love both palettes. So, spoiler alert, I do love them, and I will do a video soon. But it's not going to be at least in the next three weeks or so. So I'm going to move them back into my collection for now, and then I'll bring them back out when I have time and room in my schedule to film that, that video. All right, so our bottom drawer, I don't think much is changing here. I'm going to leave these glitters here. Just leave, make this like my little go-to glitter box. And then here I've just got my notebook where I keep tallies of what I'm using for my HP Project Pan. So we're just going to leave that alone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put away the makeup that we um, pulled out. And then we'll switch over to my makeup collection to shop for what I'm going to be using. Okay, hello and welcome back to my makeup collection. So, we actually have some updates here. I re I went through, and since I've been panning so many products, and since I've been using a lot of stuff, I finally found time to go ahead and just reorganize a lot of what you're going to see here. So it's going to look a lot different than my last month's um, Shop My Stash, because things are different. So, we moved these two drawers up here. So this is all my tape, and like what I use for swatches, or for like my eyes to get that nice sharp wing. It's all up there. This is all um, hair removal and nail care, nail care, <laughs> nail care, like my files and my little eyebrow razors that I use and my nail clippers and stuff. These are my single shadows, individually packaged single shadows, and I used a couple of those this past month, so I think we're going to be good there. And here is where I have all of my eyeliners and uh, mascaras and brow everything. So here we're going to pick a mascara. And I think we're going to use this NARS Climax one. I haven't opened it up yet, so it should be brand new. And I've got eyeliners there. Do I want to pick another eyeliner? I don't know. I've been bad at using eyeliner recently. Let's just pull this one out for fun. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. So there we go. Here we have the lashes that I never use. Here we have, like liquid shadows and some glitters. I guess I could switch out the shadows that I just keep like in my drawer because you, you saw that there's a portion of just shadows that I like always reach for. <sighs> you know for now I think we're okay. Yeah we'll leave it there for now. And then down here um, I just have a setting spray. So I actually uh, a few days ago, a week ago, time means nothing. I had to run to CVS or Walgreens with my boyfriend to pick up some things for our families. And while I was there, I realized I was about to run out of setting spray. So I just picked up whatever I saw there. So I have Milani Make It Last. I've got these two from Wet n Wild. I've got the Natural Setting Spray and then the Rose Setting Spray. So I should be set for another couple of weeks, if not months now. So that's good. Moving on down, here's where we keep our lip liners. Very few of them. And then here are the concealers. Now for concealer, I was really wanting to pull out this one, which is my go-to summer concealer, but I only have one of them. And since I'm not going anywhere, I think I should pull out these Shop Miss A ones, because they're also really good. So I'm going to pull those two out, and I'm trying to save the concealers that I really love for when I'm actually going to leave the house again. <laughs> like these two, the Pat McGrath and then the Maybelline, so we'll, we'll just hold on to those. 
Moving down to the next drawer, you'll now see this is where I have my primers. They used to be in this first Alex drawer. There's not as many of them now, so I have them up here. I do find myself needing matte products more, so I think I'm going to be fine with the matte primer that I have in there right now, because the rest of this is really more luminizing, and I think what I have in my drawer is my only matte primer. So I think we're going to stick with that one. Next down here, I actually combined single, loose, or individually packaged face powders with bronzers because I don't have that many that are individually packaged like this. And I actually am going to create my own face palette for this month. So we're going to leave these alone. These are literally all of my face powders <laughs> left and bronzers. And that's it. That's all I got. Down here we have blushes. Now I had in mind I wanted to pull out the only blush palette that I have and that's going to be down here in this next drawer. So this is just all the other blushes that I have. And then down here is just electronics within easy reach because this is where I sit to edit and film and all of that fun stuff. Now let's move down to the first Alex drawer. All right, this drawer is going to look a lot different. This used to be my foundation and primer drawer, but I changed this really to be like tools. So I've got like some makeup wipes here. I've got my magnified mirror. I've got my Q-tips. And then I've actually been using them up a lot, but I kept the rest of my little sample products here because I had to use them up. Because normally I would save them, like I said, when I was traveling, not using them. So what do I have left? I've got a long wear. You know what? I've got this primer from Hard Candy. I might bring that one in and just use up that. And what is this? Uh, I think it's a moisturizer. So we'll wait to use that one. And then here I've got some like lipstick samples from MAC and Charlotte Tilbury. And then I think these are liquid shadows from Laura Mercier. So yes, we've got those there. And then I keep my color switch right here. And then here's what I really wanted to bring out. So first I've got this blush palette that I wanted to bring out from BH Cosmetics. I decided it'd be fun, give me a bit more variety because I was getting kind of bored of the blushes that I had like individually packaged. So this might give us a little bit more variety to use. Now here is how I made my own face palette. So I realized I had this in my eyeshadow palette bookshelf over to the side, but I wanted to bring it up to the top and use these products more. So these are all individually sold products or products I have depotted. So like this is Mary Luminizer. Editing Monica here. That is very clearly not Mary Luminizer. I don't know what I was on that day. I think that's a Becca highlight. And yes, I am laying down in my bed and editing. It's fun, you should try it. This is a highlighter in French Vanilla. This is from an indie brand, Touch of Glam Beauty. That's a blush. And then on the other side, I had like bronzers and contours. So this is a bronzer from The Balm. And then this is a Wet n Wild one. So what I did is I had other products in here that I pulled and I made my own face palette for this month. And this is what I picked. So... First we have this, these three shades right here are a contour palette from Smashbox and it used to be my holy grail contour palette. So I decided to bring those here. This is the face powder from that Wet n Wild, you know, duo that I showed earlier. And these are going to be my face powders for this month. Next I have this highlighter from Touch of Glam Beauty and then I pulled a highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is a limited edition uh, from their Gothographic collection I believe and this is White Raven. So he, yeah, so this is how I made my own little face palette. So I got everything except for blush and that's why I really wanted to bring in that blush palette to add a bit of color to this. But this is what I'm going to be using for this month. So I think that's everything that's going to be in this drawer. Let's move on to the next mostly empty drawer. So these are all like empty palettes and stuff. And then back here are the rest of the foundations that I have. Really isn't that many. I think I have less than 10 like in here. But one thing I did want to pull out is this. So this is an e.l.f. product and this is the Make Me Matte Mix-In Concentrate. So you're supposed to be able to mix this with any foundation and it becomes a matte foundation. I'm back twice in one video, wow. But I'm looking at this in editing and I'm just now realizing I could probably also use this mix-in medium for primer. Like now I wanna try and make, cause I have a sh an ad, 
<laughs> trying not to curse i have a buttload <laughs> of luminous primers i'm like i don't need a luminous primer right now but i don't want to go out and buy anything that's not essential so now i really want to try mixing that in with a luminous primer just my thoughts you might see me again you might not <laughs> we're gonna test that now that it's disgustingly hot in my attic so we're gonna pull this out and i think that's everything here do you see how many white mixers i have <laughs> <laughs> I might start using them soon, but this is the rest of the foundations that I have. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine foundations left in here. Wow. Quarantine is really helping me use products up. All right, so in here we've got highlighters, and I think... You know what? I want to bring this product out. Let's grab it. This is a newer product, or not, newer as in I got it like right before quarantine started. Uh, focus, thank you. This is from Wet n Wild, and this is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter. So it's blush and a highlighter. So we'll use that. And then I think we're good here, because I'm also panning a highlighter, so I don't want to pull another one. Okay, so this next drawer is still under construction. I don't really know how I'm going to be organizing it, but I moved all my lipsticks down here. And it's kind of a mess. Like, the, in general, there are some organizational areas. Like, here is all green or black lipsticks. These are all green lipsticks. And then the rest is just kind of a mess. <laughs> but I did have two things in mind that I want to pull out. So let me grab those. Okay, these are the ones I really wanted to pull out. So I've got some YSL lip stains that I remember absolutely loving. And I think now, especially when I'm not looking for, like, a heavy liquid lipstick. This will work really well. And then I, I want to pull out this AOA Studio Oh Honey lip gloss because I remember this looking beautiful on camera and I have not been wearing lipsticks and I like to like currently I'm like really liking like a really glossy kind of look so I want to use this whenever I film. So these are what I want to pull out. And I think that's it for this lipstick drawer. Again it's under construction. I really don't know how I'm going to organize it. I'm, I'm still working on that. The last drawer is face palettes, but we already pulled everything that I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and switch over to eyeshadows. And really, I don't think I need to pull that much. Okay, so looking over at the eyeshadows, I'm already trying to pan quite a few eyeshadows now between my Pan That palette and my new HP Project Pan. So I really only want to pull out a companion palette. And I had one in mind, and it's right there. I'm going to pull out the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar because I think this is a great companion palette to what I'm trying to pan right now. And I feel like there's a lot of different shades here. I can make this work with my Pan That palette, with the Natasha Denona palette, with the Collab palette. So I feel like this is something that's going to be fun to, to bust out and use. And since I'm already trying to pan so many other things, I, I don't think I'm going to pull anything else. I think that's going to be the only one. So we've gone through everything. I'm going to go ahead and add all of those products to my basket and then we'll be back to review my final makeup basket. Okay, so here we are with the final basket. We've got our new mascara and eyeliner up here with all of our lip stains and our lip gloss. The rest of that hasn't really changed too much. In our first drawer, we have our new concealers, our primer, the e.l.f. Make Me Matte, and then the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. They look fairly similar along with the foundations I'll be using. The next drawer has the blush lighter along with the products from my Harry Potter Project Pan and then what I'm using for my brows as well as the blush palette and my homemade face palette. The next drawer just has my Natasha Denona Green Brown 28 palette and the Chocolate Gold palette from Too Faced. And the bottom drawer hasn't changed at all. <laughs> so that is it. That is my shop, my stash, and my everyday makeup basket for June. Let me know down below what you guys are going to be using in June. And if you're actually going to, like, reach for more matte products. Because I'm pretty sure, like, once, like, we actually put the AC on in the house, I might not need matte products as much. But, like, <laughs> as of now, all I have is a window AC unit and it's hot. So I'm going to have to start going for the matte products. But let me know if... If this summer is going to be different, if you're still under quarantine, I'm fairly close to New York City, so we're going to be under quarantine for still quite a while. And I'm not looking into going back to my office for my job until at least this fall. So we're going to be here a while. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.